Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit in, in Wednesday's session. We did rally quite nicely up towards the 20 exponential. And then now we have basically given most of those gains back. And now it kind of looks like we are going to continue these rallies and then breakdowns. And we're still trading within this square. If we were to break below the lows here of 28K, then we'd probably drop towards 25 and then to 20 and then significantly lower. These moving averages are not very bullish to be fair honest. The 50 moving average is racing in this in, in the negative direction. So is the 20 exponential. We did, of course, rally the last few trading days. But at this point, we are getting rejected and we could basically be dropping back towards 30K and probably 28K, which would mean if we break that, we could drop significantly lower. Taking indicators otherwise, we can see that the MACD is flat at this point. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is negative, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, did a little bit better. We are above the 20 exponential, but the question is whether or not if Bitcoin basically starts falling again, it will drag the most uh, the other cryptocurrency with it. We are also approaching the 50 moving average and we are slowly leveling off. Question is whether or not we are just going to level off here and drop back towards the 200 moving average or these previous lows. And if they give away, then we could drop towards the 1500 and then 100. Uh, no, not one, but 1000. So 1500 and then towards 1000. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly more bullish than they are for Bitcoin. We can see the MACD is bullish, the Castic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish at this current stage. So it has had a fairly good run the last uh, four trading days. But the question is whether or not we'll see this and also this and the continuation of these moves to the downside. If we continue falling here, we'll probably have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, and probably also the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, which will be very negative for uh, this uh, cryptocurrency. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has rallied up towards the 20 exponential. It did break down in the on Wednesday session and then rallied, but we're still underneath the 20 exponential. And as long as we don't break above it, we'll probably just get rejected and head back down towards the 200 moving average. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, it's just underneath the zero, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. If we get rejected here, it is fairly likely we'll drop back towards $1. If we rally from here, then the 50 moving average will come into play at the 1.53. So let's look at Litecoin. So, sorry. So Litecoin, very similar here. We have rallied up towards up towards the 20 exponential, broken down, rallied up towards the 20. And now it starts looking like we are going to break down yet again. We have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which is not a very bullish uh, signal. And uh, technical indicators there are not, they're looking better, but they're not fantastically bullish to be very honest. So MACD is still in negative territory above the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. If we break down from here, we'll probably go and test 106 again and then drop to 100. And if that gives away, then we are most likely going to look at the 50. So let's look at NEO. So, um, yes. So NEO hasn't even gotten close to the 20 exponential. And uh, yes, not a very good sign for this uh, cryptocurrency. So it has. It looks like the movement here is that we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential, break down, rally up towards the 20, and then continue breaking down. If uh, 26 gives away, which is the previous lows here, then we could be looking at the $20 and then way below that. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we have the 50 moving average 
racing towards the 200 moving average here. We're just uh, basically uh, crossing off a, um, a negative crossing or a bearish crossing of these moving averages. And we'll most likely see this drop significantly lower when that occurs. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar to Litecoin, these uh, three cryptocurrencies here basically has showed a similar chart as uh, they rally up towards the 20 exponential breakdown rally up towards the 20 but we are testing still testing the 20 exponential if you get rejected here then it will mostly drop back towards 101 and if that gives away then we are looking at much lower levels technical indicators are looking fairly better for this cryptocurrency than they are for uh, for litecoin for example and and neo but uh, but still uh, MACD is still in negative territory, but uh, across the signal line, the stochastic is bullish, CGI is bull is becoming bullish now, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the Dogecoin. Dogecoin. So Dogecoin got really hammered here on Wednesday and opened uh, again in negative and now um, on the basically first day session. So we can see the MACD is flat. Stochastic is crossing the signal, becoming bearish. Some CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. Rejection here most likely means that we'll drop back towards the 20, 200 moving average at 0 0.15. If, for example, Bitcoin starts to drop significantly, then we are most likely going to see this fall apart as well. It has been a massive downtrend. We did test the 200 moving average rally, but it got rejected yet again of the 20 exponential. And in the long run, we'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average of the 20 uh, 200 moving average, which may make this drop significantly lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.